friends this is Shipra from Just Tutors so today we are going to learn about saying without speaking so in this session we are going to learn about Tamshras people with special abilities every person has different abilities and talking through dance mudras so let's get started with Tamshras so have you ever played this game so in this game, everyone has to say something without speaking. How can we do that? So I think we can enact by using our face, expression and hands. So using your hands and your expression, you can do that. So in this game, one has to pick a chit and he or she has to say that with the use of facial expression and hand positions. Now, you can try with your friends the game. Here, now moving ahead, we have people with special abilities. Every individual has got something special in it. Some of us can dance well, some of us can sing well, and some are good with sports. So each one of us is unique. Like... Some are really good with using their hands and gesture to express their f expressions and they can express their feelings really well. Like in your class as well, some, ch ch some children will be good with reading and some must be having an amazing writing. So that's other special abilities that different people or children holds. Now. Most of us can speak and hear, but some of us don't have the power to execute this basic function. Like some people can't speak or listen. So these people talk through action and they try to communicate with the next person by studying their lip movements. So they people ask you to speak slower so they can read your lips. Now, we should not call these people disabled in any way as they are equally special as they can do so many things. Sign language is taught to these children by which they learn to express themselves by using facial expression and hand gestures. They have special sign language schools and they also go to schools, sports and everything which we do in our life. So here is one example of the sports person named as Vijendra Singh who is also known as Gunga Pehlwan who has won gold in the wrestling at Defamplex. So we can't say them as disabled as they are equally important and special persons. So every person has different abilities. So here are some pictures. You can try to read the face of each one and write their feeling. So here you can pause the video and you can try that. So here, as we see from the picture, the first person or the first child is sad here. While the other one is seems so happy. And the third child uh, seems glad. And the fourth one uh, seems to be angry. So these are the expressions that show our feelings. Now, here is a small story about Helen Keller, who was deaf as well as blind. Still, she made her big in her life. So we should always treat people with special abilities with respect, care and sensitivity as they can do everything which we can. So here, using the example of Helen, Helen Keller, we are going to explain that. Helen Keller was an American author, activist and lecturer. She was the first deaf, blind person to graduate from the college. So she can't hear and read as well. So she was not born blind and deaf. It was not until 19 months of age that she came down with an illness. The illness did not last for a long time, but it left her deaf and blind. Killer went on to become a world famous speaker and author. So she is remembered as an advocate for the people with disabilities as well. So here, 
That is an amazing example to showcase that every person has different ability. Although she wasn't able to hear and see, but she seems to achieve so many things in her life. So now here are some pictures of Mudra. So here you can pause the video and you can try to express what, what these hand gestures are trying to explain you or tell you. So, so the first gesture is representing a shape of a peacock. The second one is representing a flower bird. Then the third one is representing a flower. And the last one is representing a fish. So you can try this at your home as well. Now moving to the next slide. Here you can pause the video and think of making a story with the help of these pictures given to you. So here it can be a story like here we have a dog named Bruno who is being hungry and thirsty. So in the search of food he found a bone after a big search and after that he was just crossing by with a river so he see his reflection in the pond but he thought that there is an another dog who is trying to or who is having the bone as well seeing that he wants to grab that uh, bone from the other dog in that case he just opened his mouth and and realized that his bone is now been in the water so from this story we get the moral that we doesn't have that you don't have to be greedy all the time so whatever you have you have to be happy with that so that's all for this video for more videos you can log into justtutors.com thank you so much